This question, uh, you know, there's been so much physicality heading into this matchup, but we haven't heard from you guys yet what you think of this match uh, heading into Perth. Rhea, I want to start with you. This is a big deal, defending the Women's World Championship in your home country of Australia. Do you have butterflies? Butterflies? I've worked for this. I wanted this. This is the first time that I get to compete in Australia as a WWE superstar. Apart from that, the, the last time I competed there, it was part of the independent scene, and that was seven years ago. So when I came here, I just wanted to please people. I wanted to do what I was told, what I wanted to fit in. And I wasn't really comfortable in my own skin. There was actually times that uh, I wanted to quit. I wanted to give it all up. But I had to sit down with myself, and I had to remind myself exactly who the hell I was. I had to remind myself that I didn't want to be like everyone and fit in. I wanted to prove my dad is wrong. I had to remind myself that I was Rhea Bloody Ripley. And I am the most dominant woman here within the WWE. Aw, that's so cute. Mommy. I'm twice your size. And I've got triple your talent. I'm so happy this is happening in your homeland. Because when I squash you again, mommy is gonna go home crying to her mommy. You know what, Nah, you can talk all that you want. You can attack me from behind all that you want. But at the end of the day, when you stand in that ring in Perth, Australia, face to face with me, and you hear everyone in that stadium screaming for mommy, you, you are gonna crumble. All your momentum is going to fade away into nothing. Your nightmares, they're gonna become a reality when you realize that you're just not good enough. So I will see you in Perth. Well, Pat, the issue for Nia Jax is this. She's been so dumb.